Hi, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be talking about sound and mantra. Just a quick video to explain why I love mantra so much and why it's so powerful. And I thought about doing this video today because I realized how much, it just kind of hit me, how much more I use my voice now. And if you are one of those people who want to be able to speak more confidently, use your voice in situations that might seem a little bit scary, but you know you should, then I highly suggest you watch this video till the end to learn a little bit more about how sound and mantra helped me get there and how I can help you too. Also, at the end of the video, I will let you know some options that you can take in order to kind of start your mantra journey or to just start your journey to empower your voice. Learn some tips and tricks on how you can empower your voice. So why do I love mantra so much? First of all, like I said, it empowers my voice. When I first started to learn how to chant a mantra, it seemed super weird to me. It was really out of the ordinary, really uncommon for me to consider chanting. Um, and it was very foreign. Like it was just, it was super, super weird and strange. And as I started practicing mantra and chanting through Kundalini yoga, I started to notice the effects that it had in my body. It literally heals your mind, body, and your soul. And science is showing this more and more every day. We're seeing a lot more emphasis, emphasis now on sound healing. So it's almost like your body is like it has its own natural tuning fork. And if you know how to use it properly, you can use this tuning fork to literally clear and activate all kinds of channels within you. So I started to notice over time that I was becoming much more outspoken. I was speaking my truth. I was standing up for myself. I was standing up for my children. And I, I just started to become more confident and clear with my words. And this is what chanting does. Because if you think about it, if you get past that initial weirdness, that, that discomfort, because that's what it's all about, right? Moving through discomfort. When you get past that and it becomes more natural to you, and then you move on to the next step and then the next step. And you just keep like advancing and advancing to the next uncomfortable level, then the next uncomfortable level. And that's how you get better. So it works the same way when you use your voice. So mantra heals your by mind, body, and soul. It also, when you know what to chant and how to chant, even if you're just making up your own mantra, like I am, I am love, I am light, I am strong, I am powerful, I am confident. It opens up channels in your body. It unlocks your subconscious and it also releases emotions that might be buried within you and activates intuition. And when you're using sound and you're developing this like deep connection with your voice and who you are, you really start to find out who you are because you're hearing yourself now. You're not hearing your head. You're hearing yourself. And you hear yourself because that sound, that sound that you're connecting to on a deep spiritual level, that is you. And that is your authenticity. We all have a unique signature. We have a unique 
energetic signature. But we also have a unique voice print. Every single one of us has a unique voice print. And when you use your voice print more and you connect with it, you start to open up that truth, that, that truth of who you are. So this is incredibly activating for your intuition. And not just that, but once you get past that initial weirdness, because I know it might seem weird at first to chant or to say, you know, words in Sanskrit that you may have never used before, or they might be completely new to you. It's so soothing. And even if you just listen, if you listen to mantras and you listen to chanting more, it is so soothing on a deep level. It will soothe your nervous system. It will calm your mind and it can heal your body. Sound is super healing and science is showing that more and more. And the number one reason why I love mantra so much is because it reminds me of when I was a child. It brings me right back to that, that wonder and that, that time in my life where I was 100% confident. I didn't care what anybody else thought. I was a rock star in my world. And I literally ran around the house with a brush in my hand, pretending it was a microphone because I loved to sing. I loved it. And even today, my husband tells me I have a beautiful voice and my family loves it when I sing. But I never told myself that I was good enough as I grew up. But when I was a kid, I was a rock star. I actually remember the movie Howard the Duck. It always brings me back to that because for some reason, I was the main character in that movie, not, not the duck, the girl in the movie. <laughs> But it brings me back to that time in my life where I just felt like the whole world had my back. The universe had my back. I was unstoppable. And I used my voice. And I was clear. I told my parents what I wanted and what I needed. And I was sure that I was going to get it. So this is what using sound and mantra can do for you. It empowers your voice. It activates your intuition and it opens up channels that might be blocked right now because you have suppressed your voice. And in another video, I'm going to talk about how using our voice is helping to um, kind of rebalance the masculine and feminine energy right now on the planet. That's in, a net, in the next video. But empowering your voice is so amazing. And one amazing way to do that is through sound and mantra. And before I go, I'm just going to talk. I'm gonna to read to you a little excerpt from my Kundalini study manual. Um, here, something to ponder. Western and Eastern religions Speak such a creation, in the beginning was the word. The word is actually referring to the intelligence of sound. So astrophysics says this sound was a big bang that created the universe and the very word universe itself simply means sound. I didn't know that, that's super cool. So in 1905, Albert Einstein stated that time and space are identical. The perceived differences are just different vibrations. So sound creates vibrations. This is how you tune your body. And vibration is sound. Now today, with nearly a century of research using the highest technology available, leading quantum physicists 
the world over have established what they call the string theory. This theory stipulates that at the very core of the atom, deep within the electrons, protons, and neutrons, many levels below the visible surface, everything is just a vibration, just a sound. So at the very core of your being, you are sound. How cool is that? So use your voice. And if you are interested in learning more about how you can start using your voice more confidently and empower your voice, then I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading uh, a Kriya, a Kundalini Kriya that's going to work a lot on this part of our anatomy to really help open up the channels and empower our voice and also comment if you are interested in possibly doing a live kundalini session with me this might be one that i run live for free so if i get enough interest comment below and we will set that up so thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something super cool today and i really hope if anything at all you're going to go out and just start chanting in your shower in your bathroom whenever you have the time just start listening and using your voice more. So much love, many blessings. Mwah. Namaste.